Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to brand new potential series here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. On this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Dwaros, a game which consists of a mixture of features such as exploring the lands, gathering resources, building your own settlement, managing your food, and much, much more. I came across this game as I was doing research for the channel, as I'm always looking for new content to bring to you, the viewers, and hopefully we can have some fun with this. So. We're gonna start a new game. I have not played this as of yet, so expect it to end up being as per usual with me. Lots of hiccups and mistakes are gonna be made, so please bear with me, and hopefully, if you're gonna like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, as it helps a lot with the algorithm, and if you're not yet subscribed, make sure to also do that as well. So, let's set off to a new game and see how this is gonna turn out so we're gonna have to name our place so how about we go with something like this and is it gonna be village or how about we go with heap or castle let's go with castle noobsville castle uh, it's certainly not gonna be as magnificent as the castle which you can find in the Witcher series And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name because everyone's gonna chew my head off But now we have three characters who we are gonna be managing So we have this dwarf who I believe is responsible for managing your resources And we have this elf who is responsible for construction and then we have this I'm not sure if it's a hobbit or some sort of thief or or some other species of fictional character or race who is going to be responsible for finding treasures and doing all sorts of other fancy stuff. So we're going to change their, change their name and I I don't know, man, uh, I I watched lord of the rings recently and I don't remember majority of the names, but I'm definitely not really that crazy about this so we can actually look at the biography of the people who we are going to be working with so for example our dwarven friend is a very old and very simple dwarf whose role in the mission is to gather the natural resources needed to help the wood elves build a new colony dwarves live for centuries and in his first in his first, at the age of 42, Dwilwen went on a journey that is now a well-known folklore of the Red-Bearded Gatherer. Children are told the story of Redbeard, a miner and lumberjack who loved his work so much that when he had to build himself a home and mined enough gold to keep him wealthy for the rest of his days, he found himself unfulfilled, so he continued to mine and lumber and leave stockpiles of wood and stone wherever he went. Each time enough for a small family to settle on the land, and so he began to leave prosperity and development in his path. The legend is that this one's wild homeland became settled along a road built from the very path he took on his journey. Some centuries later, he became one of the founding members of Royal Company of Colonizers. Okay, so how about we go with Gimli? I think that that is the name, which was in <laughs> Lord of the Rings, I think. I don't know. Uh, you're gonna have to let me know in the comment section. And I, I don't know what's what's like a good elven name. Like I I, I really don't know. Uh, I I'm just not crazy about this. Uh, damn. Well, there is Legolas, but that was a guy, so. Whoa. We need a female elven name. Uh, let's use Google for this purpose and see how that's gonna turn out. Okay. So, huh. There, there's like, how is Anna 
with double N, <laughs> a dwarven name. Arwen, Callan. Callan seems nice. Let, let's go with Callan. And uh, let's go with Bilbo, just, just, <laughs> just for the hell of it. So, Callan's biography is a scrappy and resourceful engineer and architect whose role in the mission is to assist the Wood Elves by designing and building town structures. Belonging to the race of gnomes, Okay, so she's a gnome, so I'm completely off the mark here. Okay, this just proves that these are not your professional walkthroughs. But anyhow, belonging to the race of gnomes, Callan grew up le learning the ways of the mechanic and builder. When she came of age, she took her training to the next level by becoming an apprentice to the world-renowned master architect, Mr. L. Bright. She is now employed by the Royal Company of Colonizers as a master architect herself. She has faithfully helped many, many colonies under the order of the Queen. And then we have Bilbo, a halfling whose role in the mission is to assist the wooden elves in exploring the new land and finding hidden treasures to help finance the rebuilding of their civilization. Bilbo grew up in a peaceful farming village called Shire, where he <laughs> loved to see the world and travel at the age of 15, where he ventured to the smoky industri industrial city bracket, where the adventurous troublemaker began thieving for a living. To, to the rich, he was known as the mysterious thief soft feet to the poor he was known as bilbo the kind for his generosity and la di da di da so he also works in here and he's at least a halfling so i partially got this correct so we have a dwarf we have a gnome and we have a halfling so let's see how these three will be able to set up this colony and this castle called the noobs will A long time ago, the wee wood elves had a place that they called home. It was the only place that they ever knew. Until one day, a disaster forced them to leave their homeland. With nowhere else to go, they wandered the lands of others in search of a new home. Finding ways of adapting, working, and living peacefully with the people who hosted them. But still, none of this was ever truly a home. With the wood elves now spread across the world, they needed a home, now more than ever. The high elf queen... I'm sorry if I'm gonna mispronounce her name... Sulatia, a great leader who ruled over an enormous commonwealth, saw the plight of the Wood Elves and used her skillful diplomacy to strike a deal with a people known as the Nabo. The Nabo had lots of land and forests to spare that were just right for the wee Wood Elves. The Nabo were happy to welcome the Wood Elves as their new neighbors, for the Wood Elves, who were naturally good-natured, had created a shining reputation for themselves around the world from their travels. Queen Slatia knew that colonization was tough work, and a people who have been wandering for a very long time, road weary and surviving, would need some help. So the queen enlisted her best team to the task. With their combined ingenuity, work ethic, and propensity for kindness, they were set to take on the challenge. Ah, look at the cute rabbit. The worlds.
royal subjects, if you are reading this letter, we are then pleased that you have arrived safely at the Duskon Keep. Within our very, very vast empire, there are no explorers or colonizers more noble and capable than the three of you. We are a compassion- what? We are a compassionate queen? Okay, so she's talking about herself in third person. Ah, that's nice. The time has long come for the wandering wood elves refugees to have a new land of their own. What's up with all this R? We have claimed the Duskwell Keep, built and abandoned in a previous colonization attempt with proper treaty from the native Nabo peoples. Isn't people already plural? Why would you put the S at the end? We have gifted the Wood Elves with their keep and true rights to these ancient lands so that they may rebuild and salvage their culture. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, I'm gonna get distracted a lot. Each of you were chosen for your own unique talents and skills. Together you have the ability to... Explore. Ooh. Gather. And build. Should I be writing this down? All of these are skills necessary to conquer the foreign land and help the Wood Elves restore their own way of life. Professor Mooney, with his archaeological knowledge, will assist in understanding this ancient land. Why does he look like he has food poisoning? Why is he green? And Mayor Shtick will help with recolonization efforts. Seriously, is she angry at someone? What's up with all these R's? Feels like she's growling at me. We thank you for your efforts and wish you luck in your assignment. Her Majesty Queen Slatia. Hey, you've made it! Come in, step into my office, let's talk. You seriously need that much of a portrait behind you? Okay, so it looks like this is the tutorial, which we will need to finish in order for me to understand how the heck to actually control this game. So how about I actually go inside of this office? Since this person is obviously overcompensating by having way too many portraits of herself in here. Okay. Outstanding! You've arrived! That's fantastic! I'm so glad I'm gonna have to read all this and make plenty of mistakes in my pronunciation. On behalf of the Wood Elf Nation, I'd like to welcome you to Dusk and Keep. I'm Mayor Shtick, pleased to meet you. Listen, I'm a doer. Do you know what that means? That means I like to get things done, and I think you do too. You strike me as a doer. That's outstanding. Let's get to it. Let's get to the business. Our first priority is to make sure that the Wood Elves arrive in Noobsville Castle safety, safely and have a place to live. You see, it's already happening. For this we'll need the whole team. Professor Mooney has given us these artifacts. They are an ancient technology we don't quite understand, but I'm sure nothing bad will happen. They're called Talk Rocks. Okay. You like that name? I gave them that name. It's great. Eh, not really crazy about it, but okay. Professor Mooney and I each have one, so I'll be able to communicate with each other at a distance. How about Rocky Talkies? Wouldn't that be better? Did I tell you they do that? That's what they do. You've received three Talk Rocks, one for each member of your team. Awesome! According to Mayor Shtick, these artifacts allow you to communicate with everyone on your team from any distance. 
Let's wrap this up. Take these three to your colleagues. Start with getting Kellen her talk rock. Looks like she's just outside my office. Thanks for coming in. Sure. Sure. So find Kellen at the Dusk and Keep country yard and give her the talk rock. I think this is her, right? Give her the talk rock. Okay, so now we are actually in control of her. Hey there, it's Mayor Shtick. I see you got the talk rock in one piece. That's outstanding. Glad to hear it. So let's get to it. I hear you are great at fixing things. A real master mechanic. Would you do me a favor? Okay, so we have a repair hammer. With the, her hammer, Callan can repair anything. She's a maverick with a hammer. As some say. Can we change that? She's like the MacGyver or something? Climb up on the castle tower over there and fix that broken beacon using your hammer. It will come in really handy when anyone gets lost in the forest. Oh my god, why do I have to travel this weird distance? They can look up to see the beam and why does the... Oh, okay. And they'll know how to get back to the town. Great idea, right? I thought of that. Well, we'll talk some more once you're done. Thanks. Awesome. So now I have to look for some elaborate way to get on top. Okay, can we actually get in here? No? Okay. Uh, so how the heck do I actually climb up these damn walls? Ooh, we can jump. We can jump, people. Everything's gonna be fine. We can jump. I'm not really sure how high can we jump, but I'll have to find out a way of how to get up there. Because I'm quite sure I'm gonna have to use those wooden benches in order to do just that. Uh, ah, okay, so probably we have to go through... Yep, this is the way. This is the way. So let's do it. Let's go. Can you run? No. So this is like the speed at which they will be traveling. Awesome. Now hopefully I will not fall because that would be most unfortunate for our gnome. Let's just keep on going. Okay, careful, careful, easy does it. I do not want to fall down. She looks like a Spider-Man when she does that, no? Oh yeah. Okay, we're almost there. Let's just not screw it up now, as I tend to. Okay, anyone getting dizzy if I look down? No, nothing. Okay, never mind. What now? Repair the. Beacon from the rubble using the repair hammer. Uh, cycle the equipment tool using shift and the, the wheel. Okay. Repair with. Oh man, this is gonna take forever, huh? Wait, where did she get those golden pieces from? That, that wasn't there before. Ooh, nice. Outstanding, you did it. Listen, that's really great. Thanks a lot. It will come in handy for the townswalk when they arrive. Again, I keep clicking accidentally with the right mouse button. Foreman Ike has been looking around for you. He would like to go over some schematics with you for the new town structures. Head over to the drafting table and have a chat with Foreman Ike. I'm gonna probably leave like timestamps if I do not forget about stuff like the tutorial and then the actual gameplay or whatever. I'm gonna see how this is gonna turn out anyhow. So let's go and talk to Ike or what's his name? Mike? Ike? Mike and Ike! Foreman Ike! How's it going boss? The name's Foreman Ike. We don't need to chit chat, let's do what we're good at and start talking about building, eh? We're gonna need to have some of that, what you might call it, infrastructure ready for when the people start showing. From what I hear, you already lots of them camping out in the woods waiting for us to get to work. Let's build one of those tents and a, what you might call it, the um, garden plot for farming. We got our blueprints drafting table all set up for 
way you like it so you can give them the orders of where to put the structure. But um, we are gonna need the resources to build it first. So um, let's just talk rock that burly fella because I hear he's really good at that stuff. Alright, it's us again. So it's Foreman Ike here, working with your buddy Callan, and we're gonna need some stuff before we can start building. Can you do us a solid and use your wooden axe for some Kali trees? Them are the ones with the white bark, you see? Best wood in the forest. And use your pickaxe to mine gold. Like They have gold just like this on, on the ground and nobody is willing to come here? Man, this must be one rich commonwealth, huh? Finally, you can use your pickaxe again to mine stone. We need 240 wood, 20 stone, and 170 gold. Thanks for the help, boss. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna have to somehow switch in between these things. Can we actually extract this stuff? Oh, okay, so these small piles already contain resources. Can we get ceramic or is it only wood and stone and gold that we need? Looks like it's only those three resources, huh? Okay, can we actually leave this place? Maybe if I pull this lever. Oh, -ho! what do you know? Okay, so it looks like just by holding the left mouse button, I can actually do this. The uh, question is, do I extract this stomp or... Oh, okay, so no. We, we just chop down the tree and once that is done, we get all the wood we need, huh? So this is gonna be a bit different from Stardew Valley. Where you have to eliminate the stomp too, but okay. So I'm gonna probably try to just speed up the footage here in order for us to get to the next fun part. How much gold do I get out of one of this deposit? Only 40? Seriously? I mean, this thing looks like it can hold 200 pieces of gold. Oh, okay, this is gonna mean that I will require quite a lot of resources. Or quite a lot of surface deposits, unless there's like an underground mine of some kind. How convenient that we have all this gold and stone here outside of this keep. Why has nobody mined this thing out? Seriously, what is this? Spain after they colonized South America? They had so much gold at that time that actually the value of gold has gone down significantly in the country. Just due to how much of it did they bring from the overseas. Great, those are all the resources we need for now, thanks. What do you mean, all for now? Oh yeah, we actually do have everything. Cool. Now that we have the resources we needed, head on over to drafting table and show me where to construct the first 10 for Noob's Will Castle. Oh, righty, let's take a look at it. Hmm? So it looks like there is industry, market, farming, housing, Environment, entertainment, community, education, government, military, and miscellaneous. Okay, interesting. So, benefits, culture zero, economy zero, quality of life one. We need 40 wood, 20 stone. Uh, don't ask me where we need the stone for. I, I think I would need more cloth than the actual stone for this, but whatever. Description, tents offering little comfort, but the price is unbeatable. Okay, so we can have it built and we have all this room to work with within the palisade walls. Uh, okay, so it would be probably good if we would start to design some sort of, I don't know, like accommodation sector. Then we would have like a trade center or industrial center. So it would be nice if we would actually spread this out into some different parts. I don't want to keep the house really close to the entry, that just feels a bit weird. So how about we actually put it over here, we can rotate the tent. 
in multiple directions. So how about we put it somewhere like so? We can do this, right? Let's put it there. Okay, now we should build a plot to grow food. Okay, so we need farming and a plot of land to do that. Uh, where would be a good place to do the farming? We can theoretically keep this for people and have the farms over here so that they have the food fairly close. It looks like there might be a gate over here too, so how about... Oh, even here. Okay, interesting. Uh, we can theoretically put it oh, to the edge of our land. Uh, it looks like we cannot build right next to the palisade, as that tile is already occupied by the fortification. So if we were to put the farm plot like so... It would be on its way out. Okay, and now that we have summer to grow food and few beds to sleep in, we can invite few people into the town. If you find anyone out there, be sure to invite them in. Hey there, it's me again. I've spoken with Callan and she seems like she is set up now and acquainted with Foreman Ike, but I can't seem to get a hold of Bilbo. Listen, I don't mean to micromanage, but have you given him the talk rock yet? I think I saw him bring in some firewood at your campfire just outside my office. Mind getting him to it now? Thanks, you're the real star of this operation. Couldn't do it without you. Sure, whatever you say. So, this is the professor. There's Ike. Bilbo is over here. Haha, <laughs> Bilbo. Give him to talk rock. Ah, hi, Bilbo. Professor Mooney is looking for you. He's heard what a story treasure hunter you are, uh, that you're excited, and he's excited to work with you. Do me a favor and pay him a visit, will you? You won't stop asking me when you are coming in. Oh, righty. You see, this is why I actually thought he's a hobbit, due to those hairy feet. Oh, you're Bilbo. I know your face anywhere, big fan. My name is Professor Mooney. I'm the foremost leading expert of treasure acquisition and identification. I'm real excited to show you an artifact we've already found and identified. I've studied it with a zealous curiosity while you and your companions were en route here. Treasure Diviner. You've received the Treasure Diviner. Mayor Stick gave it that name. This tool has a sense for hidden treasure. When it's glowing red, you're going the right way. When it starts pulsing energy, you're getting close. This wonderful little doodad is a bona fide treasure detector. It is difficult for me to use and dare I say that few possess the athletism to keep instinct for such thing as you. So go ahead and give it a try, see if you can find anything. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to switch to this, uh, whatchamacallit, gizmo, and see if we can find something. Oh, ooh, it makes bubbles. So I, ooh, ooh, okay, okay, we are getting close, Some, something, ooh, what, what's happening? Hold on, this is weird, because it's turning blue and then it's turning red, it should be turning red. We need to keep holding the red, uh, or the right button. So what, blue is for cold and red is for hot, so we're getting closer and closer. It's pulsing. Ooh, we, we found something, right? What, what happened? Use the tool with. Okay. I'm so confused right now. As per usual. Ooh. Wait, hold on. What happened? Oh, it's it's almost... Just waiting for it to blow up underneath me. Yeah, we found something, finally. A treasure chest. I hope this is not like in Dark Souls where it can eat you. There's, there's grass inside. And I came across 190 gold somehow. Okay, awesome. Splendid, you find something then. 
gold, the mayor and the foreman will be absolutely thrilled. That will surely help you in your building efforts. Couldn't help but overhearing it'll be thrilled. What I mean is, I was listening in. Yeah, this is gonna be fun having someone constantly monitor you. I'm glad everything is going well and that you know how to use the treasure divider. I gave it that name, by the way. Listen, I've already contacted your companions and we've agreed that we all need to come in for a meeting. Meet us back in my office. Why does a baker sell yeast to raise dough? Uh, uh, uh. That's a joke. A little humor for you to break the ice. That's management 101. I wrote the book on that. It's great. Sign a copy for you before you go. Let, let's table that for now and let's talk about why I called you all here. There is a cave not far from here. If you follow the path, it, it was all walled up with a giant rock, but we were able to blow it up with a bomb we imported. Very expensive. As Professor Mooney expected, the cave is not a natural formation. It looks like an ancient tunnel. We haven't gone inside yet because it might be very dangerous. Who knows what's down there? That's why we are leaving it to the expert, you three. But I realize that you only just arrived and this is all very sudden. I understand that you might want a chance to stretch your legs or explore around a bit. If you want to gather resources, build some town structures or look for treasure, that's all great too. Oh, and if you come across any campers out in the wilderness, be sure to invite them to join Noobsville. All three of you should have the folders that I made up for you. I'm such an A-type personality. They'll contain all the info that you will need to go about your business. Be sure to check these out. See your overview menu. Whenever you are ready, you can head down to the cave. There's no rush. Okay. So we just built something somehow. What, what, what is it? Ooh, that's fancy. A house is no home if it's empty. Find campers in the Duscan Vale in order to do stuff. So it looks like I just rotate through the people with the middle mouse button. And if I want to switch between my equipment, I just have to... Ooh, there's a treasure somewhere here? Wait, no. Is there? I'm so confused right now. Do we have a treasure within the walls of the city? Or do I just need to keep on following the path? Duskan Whale. Why would you give me a treasure so close to the city? How about here? How about here? How about here? Who knows what we might find? Oh, there's something. What? What's that? Ooh, there's, there's a treasure in those leaves. So should I be exploring all of these? Jackpot! Haha! <laughs> awesome. Why do I need this weird stick if I can... Ooh, ooh, okay. If I can just come across treasure just like that. We're getting close. We're getting close. Can you feel it? Can I pick up this big-ass mushroom? Apparently no. What a disappointment. Okay, where where is this treasure, Bilbo? Okay, we're no longer getting this weird pulse. It was just in the middle of the road? Well, ain't that convenient. Oh, there are some papers. What are these? Yeah, I picked them up. A scroll of transportation. A scroll scribbled with an incantation. When read out loud, the scroll will transport the user to any selected location. The scroll is imbu imbued with enough magic for a single transport. Okay, awesome. 
Can I pick this damn thing up? Okay, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Um... So question is if we were going to be able to actually exchange these things between our people. And let's take a look at them. Oh my god, this place is massive! What did I get myself into? What did I do to myself? Ooh, there's like a giant skeleton over here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And I'm not sure if this is all the space that we will be able to manage, but where is this weird cave that they talked about, huh? It'd be awesome if we can actually get some sort of marker up on the map, because seriously, where is this damn thing? There's like a huge maze over here. I don't know if this is the tower with Rapunzel. There is like a great wall over here. Bunch of waterfalls. Now, this is really interesting. I'm not really sure what's the purpose of this weird lake. There's this weird village with a white tree inside. And then there's even this little place all the way up in there. Seriously, like where is this village? Should we... Can we put down like a marker? Personal waypoint. Okay, so we can be putting down markers. I really don't know. Ooh, this is fancy. There's like a huge golden pyramid. I'm not really sure where this this weird castle thingy. Uh, so we can actually teleport back home. Uh, it looks like the two dots on the map are showing us the direction in which the last remaining members of our party live at. Oh my god, there's the bunny! There are bunnies! Why can't I grab the bunny? What, what is that? Is that like a hamster or... Oh, that's a squirrel. Okay, never mind. Uh, hold on, we're getting some really mixed signal from our... Uh, Whatchama doohickey call it. Okay, there might be some treasure beneath these massive, massive trees. Bilbo will be able to find my precious. Okay, it's getting there. It's getting there. The bubbles are getting larger and larger and larger. Wait, are we heading towards some camp with people? Or what's happening here? Okay, we are getting the signal. Hold on. Aha! We found it! Again by the road. Who hides a treasure chest next to the road? Let's see whatever is inside. We still have the capacity. Uh, okay, what an elf camper. Would you three like to live in Noobsville? We would love to join Noobsville Castle, but there is not enough space for us. When you've built enough housing for three of us, come back and find us. I will have to come back here? Okay, that's, that's not really that great. We're gonna have to increase our capacity of accommodating people, or the elves in this case. What is that? Does that show like the building has an idea or what's up with that ball? Uh, hold on, how about that we just leave Bilbo by the wooden elves and we just switch over to our uh, engineer. It looks like I left a bunch of resources behind anyhow. Uh, so we should have the resources. So how about we go and try and build the necessary uh, resources for them. What is here? Oh my god, are there resources even in this bush? Look at that, there's a hidden fast travel scroll. Awesome. I know we don't want to talk to her and there's a piece of gold which I left behind, but our treasury is full. What are the odds? Okay, so what do we have and what can we do? Uh, industry, uh, workbench, so we already have that, right? And there's the market, uh, this thing, the visitors enjoy shopping and merchant stalls. Uh, okay, they can make profit, then there's more plot. We need the housing. Uh, how many people does this thing accommodate? That is what I need to find out. So is there a tent per person? Oh my god. Looks like there is. Uh, sure, let's let's put it like this. So now we should have the accommodation for the three wooden elves. And we can even build a road. We even have the stone to make it look more fancy. So, uh, how about we go ahead and 
follow the outline of the castle fortification. Wait, how do I destroy the... Demolish. We can't build here. Wait, how do I... Uh, de oh, demolish, okay. Uh, how about we change that, and now... We can try to do it like this, so that it's aligned with this way out. Okay, we have officially ran out of resources. So I need to go and gather up some stone. And I think there was plenty of it. We just need to get to it. Even close enough to the city limits. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to be careful here with... Uh, Using the uh, mouse, otherwise I'm gonna do a bunch of weird stuff like that. So I just want to finish off the road. There's plenty of stone, but I actually prefer to get my hands on a proper quarry. And we're gonna have to find that damn cave. Otherwise, I don't know where to go with this. In order for us to uh, progress a bit further. So if I would be able to establish at least some basic housing and get in some first wooden elves, that would be just awesome. We're gonna use uh, Gimli here in order to get our hands on... Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep uh, remembering to hold also shift when I want to switch between the tools. Where's some additional stone? I feel like coming across gold is fairly simple right now. But as the game will progress, I'm quite sure I will be eventually and gradually uh, just depleting all the natural deposits in the vicinity of our castle. So we will be forced to keep traveling further and further in order to accommodate the needs for expansion. And I do want to make sure that we will have a nice town or a nice castle. Ooh, what's this? A bag of spice. Increased townsfolk happiness by 25% for six minutes. All right. We don't have any townsfolk. That's bad. So I'm just gonna keep on mining this until we are able to finish off this fancy road. Where was it? Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so one, two, three, bam. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that will do it for now. Uh, the thing is, I have no idea how much food, food storage plus 2,500, food production plus 2,500. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, is this like a actual currency where you have to mint your own coins? Because we have barely any gold left, so... I feel like I'm gonna have to get some stuff. Uh, public bathhouse. Wow. Education, nothing. Government, nothing. Military, nothing. Miscellaneous, outhouse. A simple and effective solution for the most basic of needs. So it looks like we're gonna need this as well. So we're gonna have to switch to our old friend here and try to extract a couple more resources. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna try to do this in some later episodes if we need to extract like a crap ton of resources, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna probably like skip through it or speed it up or whatnot. It's gonna be interesting to see how this is gonna play out and if you're gonna like the series. I'm gonna try to record at least something so that I have it for the channel. And based on the overall feedback and how much I enjoy the game, I'm gonna see uh, if this is gonna turn into like a full-blown series. Because I do like to actually uh, commit to a game for a longer time in order to potentially get enough footage for either me to try and make a review and uh, try to create an actual objective opinion about the game 
to see if it's worth your time and uh, things like that. I've been trying lately to keep putting out more complex content, so like the comparison series where I take two similar titles and I try to compare it and, and other works, and I'm always working on something, it just takes time to put the footage together. So in the meantime, it's a bit more easier for me to put out content like this. I know it might not be as stimulating as you would wish it to be, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm still learning how to do this whole YouTube shtick. So hopefully you're gonna stick with me uh, and just uh, uh, struggle as I try to manage to figure out how to work this weird YouTube algorithm thing. But it seems to be working constantly against me. So just, just please bear with me in the meantime. if we need more food or something but we do have enough resources and enough accommodation for the wooden elves to join us so would you three like to move to noobsville we would love to join we will pack our things and leave immediately holy fudgical they just disappeared fantastic we have our first citizens keep them coming Townsfolk can be monitored from the citizen tab of the overview. Now we can focus our attention on getting our town rating up. We're a one star colony. This we must rectify before the annual conference of adamant mayors or, or I'll be the laughing stock. Our objective is to earn five star town rating, but let's start by earning two stars first. We'll need to find more people to join and the right buildings to construct in order to increase quality of life, economy, and culture. Town rating is found on the overview. Okay, I really need to find this overview. Okay, so how about we go into the overview? So we have tier 1, we have 20 units of culture, uh, 19 to the next level, or 20 to the next level. 74 to the next level in the quality of life. It looks like thanks to the tents and the farm, we are able to uh, have a better quality of life. Journal, uh, town structure, food storage, food production is not uh, full yet. Maybe we need more people to accommodate all these. So all three of them seem to be farming right now and they have 75% productivity. And we have a couple of things. And okay, so interesting. Uh, pets. We have zero pets right now. Earnings. Tax period. So tax rate. Okay, so we're gonna be taxing our elves. All right. Uh, how about you? Is there that treasure which you wanted to find me? Ooh, what's this? Rainbow. The fountain responds to your approach. Transport's companion here. No, don't do that. Leave them be. I do not want to be disturbed. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, fudge. I'm gonna have to probably press all these three switches in order to get inside of those doors, huh? Okay, so let's let's transport them. Oh, and they are magically here. All right. So let's go make them step on these mysterious switches. Hopefully we're going to be able to find our way back home because that beacon which we fixed, uh, I don't see it. <laughs> the woods are too thick. Ah, okay, there it is. I take it back. <laughs> all right. So with all three of them standing here, something's going to happen. And we are able to enter these mysterious doors. There's this weird chest. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna have to remain standing here, huh? Tax time, something, blah, blah, blah. I'm so confused right now because we have even locked ourselves out. Do I, do I need to hold this thing in order to... 
Is there some other way of entering or what am I missing here? There's is some puzzle for me to solve. This is gonna be kind of irritating. <laughs> I think I made something happen. <laughs> I, 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 I cheated or, or, or something. Alright, so we have obtained our treasure chest. Looks like there's another bag of spices, and even potion, endurance potion, and a soul quartz filled with amplifying spiritual energies. These quartz can be used to restore ancient artifacts from their spiritual echoes. Okay, let's gather all of this weird stuff, and we're going to be able to leave through here apparently. <laughs> Alrighty, this was awesome. Now the question is, what's gonna happen if they have, like, five of these things glowing there? How am I gonna get five people? We, we don't have enough people. There's more wooden elves. There's four of them. I'm gonna need a whole lot more tents. I need a whole lot more resources. Oh, we're getting something. Okay, now this I can understand that it's well hidden. But those treasure chests which I came across so far, like seriously, it was right next to the damn doors. I think we're not gonna be able to uh, take all these resources. There's quite a lot of stuff in here, so it would be a shame to leave it all behind. We're just gonna probably have to return to the castle. Okay, so there it is. And... I should leave someone behind here. I'm thinking we're going to take our architect to run all the way back and try to put down more housing. So we're going to require four additional tents in order to accommodate these guys and gals. And I feel like maybe building an outhouse in order to give the people the room to do their business at would be important as well. I'm not really sure if it's going to increase the quality of life that much, but God damn it, I'm lost. Where's this beacon? Okay, there it is. How can I lose a castle in the middle of the woods? That's horrible. That is horrible. Is it fall? Why, why are these leaves not green? That's interesting. Okay, so let's find an entry. And I do want to see if actually our wooden elves are going to be trying to farm that farmland which we gave to them as of now so let's take a, a look at it it looks like they are growing wheat apparently they they don't have this glutton free diet or whatever have you oh my god they're they're actually in the field that is so cool that is so cool so we're gonna expand the housing we have a camp of four wooden elves we're gonna see what can be done regarding that. It'd be probably also awesome if we can expand our uh, storage capabilities, but I do not see uh, a building that would be related to that. Uh, public bathhouse, that would be probably awesome. Increases the quality of life quite a lot. Hygiene to visitors, social to visitors. Uh, So we need housing and merchant stall, energy to visitors, fun to visitors. I I'm not getting any visitors right now. At least I do not think so. A workbench, I think we are all set. So let's let's just go ahead and build these housing uh, tents. Uh, we can theoretically build uh, additional tents over here. That way we should still have the room to build the farm right behind. So let's build these tents like so. And let's go and do this. And we can try and squeeze the farm. Ah, we don't have enough resources. We, ha we are lacking gold. Okay, so uh, we were able to grab the remaining wood here. 
And now we're going to be able to ask these wooden elves to join us. Would you four like to live in Noobsville? We would love to join Noobsville Castle. We will pack our things and leave immediately. And whoosh, they're gone. Okay, so we need gold. Is there some gold deposit? Okay, I see one. Okay, I see two. There's some ruined house. We're going to try to break down this rock which is blocking the entry. Don't ask me how this is possible. If there would be like a fallen tree trunk, I can understand it. But if you're gonna grow an actual rock into doors, that, that's kind of weird. Don't ask me, but okay. And there's a soul quartz. Awesome. Not rare stuff which we will need for something. I, I don't know. We, we haven't gotten that far yet. Don't, don't expect that much from me yet. I'm, I'm glad I haven't lost all three of them in the woods yet, although we were fairly close. Let, let's, let's that get out of the way. Okay, alright. Uh, we should definitely gather more research. Oh my god, there's even more elves! There's so many of them! Wait, why do these have three tents, yet I see only two of them? And can we chop down these weird tree trunks over here? I do wonder if there's gonna be also possibility for us to try and upgrade our tools. Are you able to chop this thing? I don't I don't think he's doing that, so let's just stop it. I can see why you would want to camp here, right? A big gold vein like this? <laughs> but I'm gonna take it all. I'm gonna take it all. And there's even one more on top of that hill over there. I seriously need to find where to find this weird uh, cave or something. So there's that. We can try to build more housing. And that would be able to accommodate them. Now we should have the resources for that second farm. expand the road like this and miscellaneous uh ooh, we can actually squeeze the outhouse like so okay, can we pull it like right underneath no what do you mean how come i never have enough gold for this stuff what are we doing wrong? Okay, hold on. I, I said that there was a gold deposit somewhere on top of this hill, right? There's even one over there. Wait, you cannot climb up this hill? Oh my god. What is it? Short feet? Just gather these two deposits. I see another set of tents over there. So I would like to probably build at least two outhouses if we have seven people already living in our town. Probably one toilet for that many butts is not enough. Especially if you have good Wi-Fi signal and you can stay there for way too long. Like certain relatives, right? Right? Is it just me? Come on. So let's ask them to join Noobsville. Yeah, they're gonna do just that. I would like to track this one more deposit somewhere close by. This looks like the natives, the Nabo people. Seriously, isn't there another gold deposit somewhere around here? I do see the tents. They, or I should see the tents. They are over here. Man, that's a lot of tents. I don't see enough gold, however, in here. Oh my god, this is like like actual camping ground or something is this Woodstock or something right because it's in the middle of the woods that that's not why it's called that what's in here why, why would someone hide wood and a potion in in bunch of leaves what is this weird thing that, that's so weird okay it looks like some strange puzzle yet again Okay, so we are turning this disco ball. Okay. Wait, I can only turn it in two directions. That sucks. We were able to power it on. 
I feel like if we do this or, or something with it, we're gonna be able to accomplish God knows what. Oh, so there's gonna be another treasure, huh? Uh, okay, okay, I see what you did there. So, sh should I call in my friends or, or do I not need them for whatever this is going to turn into? There's gonna be another treasure chest, that's the obvious thing. What happens if we... Okay, so we need to power this thing on. If I ever uh, press this... Uh, which I cannot get to, for some reason. I'm struggling to find the proper... Uh, point to step onto in order to get the trigger. Oh, so we need to uh, turn these manually. Haha, <laughs> alrighty. Okay, okay, I see what you did there. Uh, this is gonna be problematic over here. How do I turn a freaking corner? Uh, okay, interesting. Ooh, maybe if I approach this one. Ooh, it's gonna blow up the two balls, right? Because they're like shining the laser at each other. Oh my god, what's happening here? Ooh, fancy. So I'm gonna have to do quite a lot here. Oh my god. Why is this game making me solve puzzles? I suck at puzzles. Maybe I need to turn this like like so. Oh my god, I'm stuck! No! <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to teleport. I, I wanted to teleport. Ooh, there's the hosting interlock. So, wait, did we solve this? Oh, so there's just like a puzzle which we have solved. Okay, never mind. So, so how do I fast travel, or how do I use this weird scroll? Because, because literally, uh, we Gimli got stuck. Okay, now he's unstuck. I panicked for no apparent reason. And now there's the personal way which I need to uh, get rid of, um, because it's kind of disturbing me. Okay, okay, stop it! What, what is this guy doing? Oh my god, this game is doing some weird stuff. That is coming from me, so that should not be the case. Okay, how about we turn you around? <laughs> Somehow I have sold another puzzle. I am so awesome. I think. Do we get gold? I need gold. Okay, there's a bunch of scrolls, a bunch of potions, soul quartz. And other fancy stuff. Nice! But still not enough gold for us to craft the outhouses. What? Oh my god, what is that? Is that like a bear? Okay, even the bear is scared of me and my narration. And this is a mama bear with a baby bear. I should be the one running away. Okay, this is what the game definitely gets wrong. I would be turned into bear poop by now if I would be scaring off Mama Bear with her cub. Okay, uh... We need some gold. Let's get that out of the way. Unfortunately, it, it takes quite a long time for our dwarf here to get across the land and try to find a decent deposit. And, okay, there's, there's two. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it through the valley of the stone and get potentially stuck. And hopefully- Ooh, wheat! Can we actually harvest this? No. Ah, what a shame. Ooh, okay, so there's plenty of gold in here, so we're gonna be able to hopefully get our hands on the necessary resources in order for our elves to be able to go number one or number two. The question is if they recycle or compost the stuff. Oh my god, if they grow only crops, that means they're like fully vegan or something, right? Oh my god, I'm building a colony of vegans. What has my left become? 
but so far honestly i have to say the game seems lots of fun there will be probably lots of struggle with trying to forage all, all the stuff which will be where you will initially spend quite a lot of time especially if you cannot expand the uh storage uh capacity of your resources i can see having trouble with that that's for sure it's gonna be kind of annoying okay uh hold on let's grab this and there was some gold around here Let's fetch this. This should allow our architect to do the outhouses. Miscellaneous. I'm not really sure if I would call this miscellaneous if everyone requires this. Wait, I, I cannot build it like in between the tents? Oh my god, well, I really need a secluded spot where to... Um accommodate these structures uh, okay how about we do two of them like this oh it's so nice each one has a different color it's like boys and girls or something huh and what merchant stole uh, we don't have the wood I can get the wood workers to guests for Quality economy. This is an economy building. Uh, this is awful. Everyone should be given a way to stay clean. Okay. Uh, seems like... Uh, uh, I really hope a washroom is free up soon. I need one urgently. Why isn't there ever washroom around when you need one? I really hope washroom is... My hair is getting icky. Where are the baths around here? Okay, available restrooms. Way to get clean. Uh, when I lived in the forest, I didn't need restrooms. Okay. I tried to do something nice for you, and this is what you give me? This is horrible. So now the question is, what do we need in order to build the, the, the bathhouse thingy? Uh, public bathhouse. 200 wood. We don't need any stone. And we have the gold. Okay. Uh, it would be probably uh, accurate to build the uh, public bathhouse against the toilets, maybe? You know, keep keep the, the business close to one another so that they can wash up, wash their hands after they're done shaking hands with their best friend, or how, how should I say it? You guys should know what I mean. Okay, so let's gather these trees. Or this wood. Was there something magical inside that tree, or did I just miss something? There you go. There you go. B give it a big chop. Thank God, so far it's not asking me to start upgrading my tools. That that would be just annoying. Uh, da, da, da. I want that bathhouse. Uh, so we need to turn it around, like, s or do we build it over here? Uh, well, let's build it like so. This way we can then proceed to build out this road uh, towards the exit here. And this should give us space for one additional tent. And here. <laughs> so how does that increase the happiness of our people? I'm really bored. There's not much to do around here. I'm really bored. I uh, really hope washroom is free up soon. Uh, can't find anywhere to get clean. I'm really bored. I can't find anywhere to get clean. I need a bath. Well, I'll just build the damn thing for you. Come on. Come on. What are you guys doing? Guys and gals. Tax time. We've collected 16 crown in this period. Awesome. Nobody's working the field. Oh, that's awesome. They're all slacking off. 
and they should be able to just come up here and... Oh, sure. Well, let's take a bath up in here in this tub. I'm, I'm sure nobody's gonna watch. Wink, wink. This is gonna be such a weird place to live at. Poor wooden elves. Okay, so anyhow, I think that's gonna be it for the initial start of this game. Let me know what you think of the world so far. If you would want me to make more episodes, I'm gonna most likely in the meantime try to record at least one or two more episodes just so that I have some sort of content and can get some potential feedback from you of what you think. And in the meantime, check out the channel for the other content which I keep publishing on a weekly basis. If you're still watching by this time by some miracle and i'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of today and hopefully i will see you all at the next one okay so it looks like everyone has left well were you guys sharing a bath or what what just happened there, there's like way too many elves leaving and they all look like they have food poisoning they're green i don't recall what an elves being green but anyhow that's it for now see you on the next one bye bye now only if I would find out how to save the progress so that I don't have to do this all over again. And why do those symbols on top of the gate look like what you have on your clothes? Like the instructions on how to wash them. And in the third row, the first symbol on the left looks like either glasses or a bra. It's probably glasses, right? Oh boy, this is gonna be fun.